What's up, ass hair shit knots? I'm your daddy McStud. Cheers. Ass hair shit knots. I shit I miss you. his McStud. What shit, the fuck is that? I shit you not. I guess it'd be when the, your ass hair was getting knotted from shit on your ass because you can't wipe it enough. That's disgusting. That is pretty gross. Anyways, welcome to the motherfucking Catalina Wine Mixer. Catalina Wine. Step Brothers. Remember the end of it? It's the motherfucking Catalina Wine Mixer. Remember when Will and John C. Riley start singing at the end? Uh -huh. After Bell or failed attempts at businesses? Yeah. Was it Prestige Unlimited or some shit? Yeah. Doing, yeah, that. Prestige. They're doing interviews and one dude just starts farting for like 10 seconds. <laughs> 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 anyways yeah that it's not the catalina wine mixer we don't have a drop of wine in this house we dislike wine we like malt liquor beer and hard alcohol and one of us titties hard alcohol you used to love your captain morgan that's it yeah well, it's not a whiskey oh well, you like tequila it's wrong tequila sunrises you liked, uh, they don't like uh, me, though. what's that coconut flavored shit you used to, Malibu? Malibu. Rum. That's rum. What about, what about Parrot Bay? Captain Morgan, Parrot Bay. I've never tried that. Oh, you haven't? No. I thought you had. Yeah. Anyways, uh, winding down to my Christmas time whiskey selections. I've pretty much, uh, remember Bad Santa when he, uh, emptied the whole kid's thing of chocolates out of his advent calendar? That's kind of how I feel when I look at this. So... See, I got a red stag, I got a regular, I got a, a honey, bourbon, bourbon. Bourbon. Oh, I got an apple. Ugh. I got two apples. Two apples. Oh, that might be for tomorrow. The next, ugh, ain't nothing goes with apple. Could do apple honey. I think honey apple would be good. No. I think I'll just stick with the apple for tomorrow. Ugh. Are you yeah. going to mix them too? Yeah. Go mix the uh, Jim Beam honey and the regular Jim Beam. <laughs> Get that out of everyone's way. So, uh, it's Titty Tuesday. Is it? Yes. Today's the day Mr. McStead finally shows her titties on video. Today's not the day Mr. McStead will show her titties. Well, I thought we were getting somewhere with that, but we're not. Anyways, we can think about Mr. McStead showing her titties on video. Yeah, but that has oh, a nasty ass gotta, film in there. I gotta, well, I, I didn't wash it. Let's rinse it up. Yeah, but I think it might be the honey. That's it might be. Um, I keep getting this comment from this guy on YouTube. He wants me to do more baby powder fart videos. Anyone that's uh, followed me for several years now, remember the uh, old baby fart, baby powder fart video? God, I hope you don't <clears throat> really try to do that. Like I waited forever, and I had a night where I was just really gassy. So I kept the we were playing caps where we throw cap into a cup across the room, and you got a chance to match each other. If you don't, then you drink. That's our favorite drinking game. So, um, I finally had it. So I. Dropped my pants and had her hold the camera and I pour some baby powder in my ass crack and fart. And it actually makes clouds. It's kind of cute. Is it? <laughs> got, got a bunch of views. It's one of my more viewed videos. But some dude wants to see my ass more. That's all I gather from that. <laughs> he's like, he's like the only reason I watch you is the, the baby powder farts. I'm like, well. That's special. That is special. I don't like apple. I don't like sour apple. That's not apple. The one I did was apple. Oh, it's honey. Honey. The fuck? You don't even like honey, though. I don't care for honey, either. Not really. It adds some smoothness to it, so I guess, to it, I guess. Honey, I shrunk my dick. <laughs> that should be a movie. I wonder if that's a porno. Remember after Honey, I Shrunk the Kids came out? I wonder if they made, like, a, a parody of Honey, I Shrunk My Dick. I'm sure they have sometime. Could, I, could you imagine that? Imagine being the stunt cock for that one. We got some dude with a large cock and he shrinks it doing some scientific experiment and then they got to bring in another guy with a similar body build and a smaller penis. <laughs> and try wow. to pull that one off. <clears throat> Imagine the, the videography. How do you say it? Videography? Videographer? Whatever you call that. It's not choreography. That'd be like fucking at the same time. Same thrust. Choreography is dancing. Yeah, but you can choreography your thrust, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, a little, little motion in the ocean. little pussy potion. Wop, 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 wop. Service. <laughs> Anyways, how was your day, Miss McStead? It's okay. Left a little earlier than what Left I was Left a little early. Miss McStead got this Our box of... still. Yeah, got a box of free food. I had like a, some nasty oranges. 
some onions, which I don't like, some potatoes, which I haven't really looked at, three pounds of bacon, a big old tub of pulled pork, which I love pulled pork, uh, some honey flavored Noosa yogurt. It tastes decent. Actually. I handle yogurt. I don't want no hint, like honey in it. <clears throat> I don't like honey either. There's a head of lettuce. Um, a big thing of a big block of cream cheese. Cream cheese. Uh, sour cream. Cottage cheese. Yeah, I had all kinds of shit. I don't eat cottage cheese either. A whole bunch of sliced cheese. Yeah. Cottage cheese reminds me of the last time I went down on a hooker. I'm sorry you experienced that. <laughs> That's fucking gross. <laughs> That's you just, like you just want me to go down on you for 20 bucks? Okay. Change my mind. That's large curd. <clears throat> Ew. <laughs> you got any pepper? <laughs> Fuck. I might need a spoon. That's fucking nasty. Here's some salt and pepper I can season this. What is that? Vagisil? <laughs> That's gross. God damn. You didn't even give a, get, take a hoe bath before you came out here? Shit. Oh, I did. Oh, it just generates that fast. Ew. I wonder what the temperature is going to be like tomorrow. Uh, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Seriously? What? I swear to God. No, it's supposed to be cold. In the morning. Oh, Mrs. McStud. It feels pretty good out in the mornings. It was like 47 this morning, and she's freezing. It's 59 at night. Tonight's lowest, or 59 right now. It's the lowest of 44. Oh, damn, it's going to go up to 80. Now we're getting to the springtime. I'm going to drive down to 69. Break. Yep. Uh, so I got the I got the air, the heat on, defrosting the window. Because I'm not really cold, but she's freezing. And all of a sudden, I see her feel for the air vent. And then she twists it over. And I look <laughs> over. And she, I was like, I was defrosting the window. And she looks up. It already is. Like, not defrosting, defogging it. It already is. I'm like, okay. <laughs> she get, every, every winter, I got to put a blanket in the back seat. <laughs> when we were going to work. And we bring it in every night because it stays cold. Yeah. You bring it in, typically bring it in. Yeah, because she doesn't like to put a cold blanket on when she's very cold. I'm like, hey, your body temperature will fix that. It doesn't if it's already negatives. Oh, this is true. Speaking of, the football game was on last night. We didn't finish that Titans game, did we? No. Titans won by two points, I believe. It was a real close game. I don't know if... Who was weren't that? they tied? The... Broncos. Weren't they tied 7-7? Seven to seven? No? Mm. I don't think that... I thought that was a Steelers game. I thought it was like 9-7. I was like, weren't they tied at 7 when they had to give them a safety? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I, I can't give you any de 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 details the, about that. The New York Giants, oh, they played the Steelers. Mm -hmm. I think that game was tied at a funky number. Maybe. Is it nasty? It's just sweet. The last thing I want thing I want my whiskey to be is sweet. Well, I you take that back. I do love some Crown Royal Peach and Crown Royal Vanilla. But I enjoy both those flavors. Honey is not a flavor I enjoy. You do like the Crown Royal Apple. Yeah, I do. That green apple bullshit. I have to be in the mood, though. Yeah, I... We can't just... I mean, I can drink, drink it, but damn. It's... <clears throat> Oh, is there soft whiskey? Oh. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> you have a hard right. Coors Light? Uh, no. Oh. I don't know if any of you guys have uh, been looking outside during the sunsets, but I know here in Indiana, <clears throat> you can de definitely tell a difference in the sun because you can look right at it. And I think it's because of the wildfires in California. It's pretty crazy because normally at that time it's blinding. Especially here, when you're trying to drive towards it. Mm -hmm. Now you can just look right at it like it doesn't even bother you. It's the craziest shit I've ever seen. Uh, what are you looking for? I'm looking at a baby. Because a guy we went to school, or worked at the prison with as a grandpa. What no, the fuck is this? We ain't having no babies. I think they had to use a suction or something and they cut its head. That's just a shower cap. Isn't that blood? Uh... I don't know what that is. It's kind of disgusting, but yeah, that's gross. Um, same thing happened when I took a big shit one time. Oh, you know what? It might be the mom's blood. I didn't think they probably hadn't bathed, bathed them yet. Mmm. Nothing better than eating <laughs> your significant other out right after she gives birth. That's disgusting. You get all the afterbirth. You get the placenta flavor. <sighs> that's like liver and onions. Uh, and whatever 
uh, amniotic fluid that tastes like a. How do you know what this tastes like? It, I can't even describe it. It's immaculate. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck to say it tastes like. Ew. It's like a salty mixture of lemon juice and mustard. Lemon juice and mustard amniotic fluid. I'm glad you got to experience that. Did you ever have to get like that big needle in to go in your body to get the amniotic fluid out of the sack? Um, absolutely not. Oof. I would not like that. The fuck you think? No. I even have an IV with one not, child. I mean, I've had some pretty bad gas. So I was like, damn, if you could just like stick a, one of those, a little air vent right there. It's like, put it right in the mm -mm. spot. Like, Thanks to get no motherfucking needle up my, <clears throat> my shit or in my belly or anywhere. What if you really needed it? No. <clears throat> Aren't rabies shots go in the stock? I don't fucking know. I don't either. I always heard they did. So like, don't get rabies. You gotta get like 13 shots in your stomach. I don't know if that's accurate or not. <clears throat> Never had rabies. Aren't we vaccinated for rabies anyway as children? Yes. What, are we fucking dogs? But I don't know if that expires and when you're supposed to get it again. Well, I'm. it, it doesn't show as my up-to-date in my chart. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Or what I need. I think I got a flu shot that I need. And, uh, I thought rabies pertussis? you had a... <clears throat> that whooping cough? Pertussis? Yeah, I think. Oh. Yeah, it says I need a pertussis shot. Um, I've never had whooping cough either. But then again, I didn't get chicken pox so I was a freshman in high school. Wasn't that a goddamn mess? I, I, I knew exactly what I had, too. I was like, God, I get all this shit on me. They're itchy. Yeah, whooping cough. And I go to the doctor, and he's and always been my family doctor. He's a really old guy. He got to see my dick multiple times for you know sports physicals. Drop your trousers. Fuck. <laughs> Cough. <laughs> but Noah, I was like, I think I got chicken pox. I already read all some of the symptoms I was feeling. And I was like, I think it's like, why do you think that? I was like, I just told you everything I'm feeling. He's like, okay. Ten minutes later, he's like, you have chicken pox. No shit. Well, thank you for... Thanks for that. Captain Obvious. Fuck. <laughs> oh. I thought IPS was in school. On a side note. Um, I don't know. To be honest. I'm not sure. Have you looked? No, but I keep seeing posts on my Facebook and on the news that some of IPS are going back. Like K through third grade. Hmm. And so in October the 3rd or 5th or something. Oh, my birthday's the 5th. I'll be 34 this year. Yeah, IPS will welcome back pre-K through 3rd on October 5th. Yeah, it's my birthday. I'll be 34. You ain't going to be 34? Yeah. That's about my age. My 34th birthday. Hold on, am I going to be 34? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, it's fine with me. We're going to the same age. In your dreams. You wish you had my energy. I do have your energy, actually. Actually, you probably have more. Yeah. I just can't do a whole lot of my fucking body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did I do that one day? I was like, oh, I went for a walk down the road. I was out of breath and fucking I had to lay down. Yeah, that's the last time you went for a walk. <laughs> I know. It was. It was so hot then, though. Like, it You're might like, be. I'm going to I'm gonna start walking every day. I walked that day, it was hot, and I started sweating, I'm like... And then he came home and slept. <laughs> I got home, and I was like, I felt like I just ran, like, cause I haven't had no fucking real... I haven't worked in, since the end of July. I haven't done any really physical activity. I weedy did today, but nothing crazy. Like, I don't... I gotta watch my back, but I was like, damn. And it felt like you do when you did, get done with Insanity when you first started, and you're just like, just wanna pass it on the floor. You did. That, I didn't pass it on the floor. Oh, well, yeah, I did. <laughs> I think you did. Yeah, and then you did. woke up and came to bed. Yeah, you're right. I did. I walked in. Yeah, like, right in front of the TV, actually. <laughs> between the couch and the wall. <laughs> like, damn. He said, uh, but the pork feels good. It did. Boy, it was hot as balls. I was like, this can't be that bad. Just walking down the fucking road. But I had a pretty good pace going. And I was going to walk all the way down. You know, I was like, I'm going to walk a mile right now. Shit. <laughs> I walked maybe a little over a half. And I was like, oh. He straight got shot the fuck down. 
I came inside, I was sweating, I sat in front of the fan for a minute, I had to cool off, I had cold water, I'm like, oh, I moseyed my ass out to the fucking living room. It made my back, my back was starting to get stiff too, I bet in that walk. That's why you turned around. Yeah, that's why I turned around, I was like, oh, my back. Because I probably would have finished it, my back stopped hurting, then I really would have been fucking out. <laughs> I think it might be a good idea if you do something with the yeah, kids. Walk. What do you mean? For physical activity through the day. Well, yeah, but they're like, literally like... One has a lot of break time. The other one kind of has some break time, but then they got to come back. I don't want to be exhausted for their fucking shit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> your son doesn't really, like, he has some breaks, but he always has to be in a spot. Like, your daughter might have some a Zoom meeting at a certain time. Like, tomorrow she got one at 1230. But the rest of her work, she got all day to do. So it's, like, not a massive deal if she's out doing stuff. But he kind of has to... Almost sit in place sometimes, which sucks. Or at least he can take a break. But when he takes a break, he just he just wants to fucking chill because the shit sucks. Like that math shit. That's fucking crazy. How many problems was that you did? Hold on. A lot. It was eighteen through forty-four. Mm -hmm. So there's twenty-six problems there. It was 44 through 49, so plus 5, and then 1. It was 32 problems. 32 problems took quite a while to do 5 points. And 5 pages. 5 pages. It was 5 pages. 5 pages of showing your work for 5 fucking points. And you wonder why kids, like, well, why the fuck? And there's so much easier way. I was bitching about this earlier. I can't wait to tell this math teacher. Yeah, and like... It, if you actually know the material, why the who the fuck's gonna sit there for fucking an hour and a half doing all this work for five fucking points? I know. I mean, that's the dumbest shit I've His ever heard of. It's two pages, and it's worth worth double its homework. But it's two different grades. Like he's got a lab, which is his notes, and that grade goes in his lab, mm -hmm. which I've never seen algebra have a lab, mm -hmm. and then his algebra homework goes in under algebra yeah that's dumb sorry i sweated some today my head itches Furs. yeah it does but yeah that's the dumbest thing like it, I, I don't know like we're kind of older like a lot of, we have a lot of older people watch us i don't want to call you old but you know we done been through high school and shit like that in the past 20 years uh all that homework for five fucking points yeah, I Shit, we it. used to get like a point, at least a point for each problem. And if it was a bigger problem, you got multiple points for Two the problem. Two or three points. Yeah. Depending, so they could give you half credit if you got some of the yeah, stuff right and not the answer. Exactly. And uh, they'd even give you half points for some of the single point work, you know, if like they thought, you know, they'd mm -hmm. add it up. Nah, five points for that many fucking problems, that many fucking pages of work. Fuck those five motherfucking points. They can jam it up their ass. I'm like, Points is that really gonna make them great? Well, but they got them every day though. It's a problem. Yeah. So those five fucking points add up, which sucks a bag of dicks. But typically they have like only evens, and I actually like went out and went mm -hmm. back in to make sure that I didn't. Yeah. Miss that even. Then I even checked his email because I was like, well, damn. That's some stupid shit. <laughs> it really is. That, that sucks a bag of buttholes. That I miss. And technically, too. each problem you have to do a check problem. So, technically, he had 62 problems. For five motherfucking points. So, there was 31 problems, but then you have to do a problem to check your answer, which is a whole other problem. Five <laughs> motherfucking points. And then we got an email from the teacher because he had his Zoom meeting up, but he had his manufacturing class on because a lot of the times... <clears throat> Which we, since the beginning of the year, his Zoom, his uh, manufacturing teacher wanted to hold a Zoom meeting during his math class. So, I could understand that. However, NBA 2K21 just got downloaded. <laughs> and I got duped a little bit. But there. on his side. But, yeah. on In his case, mm -hmm. like, he literally passed by, like, a B, a B plus, mm -hmm. two math quizzes the same week. Yeah. That she sent that. Yeah. But she's like, as long as I can see their head, I take his activity. I'm like, but they can see what they're on in their Chromebooks, even if they're at home. And 
like I was telling her, like I used to get yelled at by my physics teacher for doing other work in physics class, which I knew the physics work. And it wasn't nothing like his physics shit here. It was just, it was pretty fucking simple shit. Um, but the, so at the end of the week, I was like, all right, fuck it. I did it all that day and I got like over 90% on all my assignments for the week. <laughs> but I mean, shit, I knew it. But I was working on other shit because I knew that shit. Why the fuck am I staring focus on you? I already get it. I get it. I got it. I got to finish this because I want to go home and do some shit that I enjoy and not do this work all night. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the point of any, like, that's how I was in school. Like, I wanted to get all my shit done as much as I could. So I didn't have as much to do at home, which is why I had study halls. If I had the opportunity to have a study hall. Like, I don't want to go home and have to fucking sit at home. I want to go play basketball and fucking do dumb shit. Play football, whatever the fuck we're going to do. Play video games. I don't give a fuck. It was like, we were doing, we were playing fucking football on a goddamn trampoline. Without a net. <laughs> I mean, for real. <laughs> I don't like the fucking... No one I likes not allow that, and neither would you now. No, back then. That was pretty like, stupid. It was pretty. How many times we fell off that motherfucker? <laughs> like, oh! Fucking back hit the bar, fall off. Oh my god. That's probably what's wrong with your back. Mine never did. Other people did. Oh. But they don't seem to have any problems. They seem pretty healthy. My bag just took the shit. I was like, the one thing I wanted to do is play basketball. Like, especially when it's warm, go home, we're going to fucking play some ball. Or every once in a while, we play fucking tackle football. Which probably didn't help me either, but hey, it was fun. So then we don't, like, hey, let's get on the trampoline and play football. That's smart yeah. in everybody's world. Yeah. <laughs> I would hurt you if you ever let my son do that. Oh, I, uh... I'd I'd, come and be like, what the fuck are you doing? I look back and I'm like, Dot, God, that was stupid. Yeah. That was some of the dumbest shit. Mm -hmm. Like, we done a lot of dumb shit. I remember the... We had one one winter where we had an inch and a half of ice on the road, and it was a, obviously a snow day. And we are in high school, so my buddy could drive. He's like, hey, let's uh take this sled and tie behind my truck and go down straight road, because it's all ice. Like, okay, cool. So we took turns driving. Down the road, we're going like 30 on the sled, tied to a rope behind his truck, and there's like concrete culverts and shit. And uh, everything was going good, and then I get on the motherfucker. We're going, and fucking, it started swerving. I fall off, and I'm sliding like 50 fucking feet on this ice, and it's like, all the bumps and rocks, or whatever, like, that's so not you're, smooth. You're... Then I had this massive fucking bruise up my hip, down my ass, to my cat, or my thigh. Like, it's like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm just sliding. I'm like, it's not so bad right now, but I can feel it. I'm like, oh, I didn't hit nothing. Okay. And I'm like, oh. That was kind of sore. You're so fucking dumb. I was like, oh, I'll just drive from now on. Like, maybe, or, now, I think we actually stopped after that, maybe. I was like, well, that wasn't probably the smartest thing. <laughs> like, we passed some concrete things, and none of us were in any gear. We are just, like, in some fucking winter jackets and jeans and... No snow boots or nothing. We just fucking roll around behind his truck, getting pulled down the road by a truck on a sled. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember that morning. So Did I was your sitting, mom even know about this? I don't know if I ever told her about that or not. Uh, she would have been asleep at that time because she worked thirds. So, uh, but I I remember that morning. I was waiting. For the, uh, we had a local uh, school channel waiting for them to say they're canceling it. And they cancel it, so I was like, okay. And at that time, uh, Tupac's Changes, the video he was on. He's like, oh, so I'm watching MTV because when MTV played fucking videos, I'm like, oh, cool. And a little bit later, I get the phone, like, we had to call people. We didn't have phones or texts. I'm like, hey, we're going to sled. I'm like, okay, cool. Didn't realize it was behind a truck, but we roll with that. Biggest fucking bruise in my fucking hip, and it hurt like a motherfucker for quite a while. That could be why your legs are different sizes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened? Anyways. <laughs> All right, we're going to call this one the Catalina Wine Mixer. Yep. All right. Uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow for something different. I don't fucking know what we're going to do. Cheers, bitches. I'm excited. I'm excited. And you got titties. Ugh.